Hi, so this is a Lenovo 700 series and I'm going to show you around the case in the outside and also in the motherboard and the peripherals that comes with the case in general. So um, going around the case on the exterior you'll see that there is this faux metallic. So this is all plastic but it looks like it's brushed aluminum and it's uh, all plastic in the front panel. It looks pretty good and it has that sort of graphite feel to it and graphite look to it as well as uh, sort of like a brush aluminum now on the top here are two USB 3.0 inputs as well as an SD card input and it also has uh, different type of cards that it supports but I guess the most prevalent here is really the SD cards these days and you'll see the power button in the top and also the hard drive light at the top now the top here there is a slot and also in general a place where you could put a bunch of sort of uh, peripherals such as a portable hard drive or if you're charging your phone you could put it up there now in the back here there's four USB inputs two of them are USB 3.0 and two of them are USB 2.0 and that's really very insufficient because lots of times the USB 2.0's are taken up by the keyboard and mouse and you'll notice also there is a HDMI output for video as well as a VGA output for the video and as I mentioned before there's the two USB 2.0's which lots of times are taken up by the keyboard and mouse so what you'll need definitely for this case is really a um, USB 3.0 expansion card which I will show in another video I'll be putting in a USB 3.0 expansion card so this here is a 250 watt power supply which once again is for the most part bare minimum and you'll see that with a lot of the electrical outputs cabling inside so I'll show you later that there's really only one free SATA SATA output as far as if you want to put in an extra hard drive or something that needs uh, electrical input there is really only that one and the other ones are really taken up by the DVD and also the hard drive itself so for the most part without having to exchange or replace the power supply the only thing the only option you have really to add is to really add another hard drive and what makes matters worse is the motherboard itself has this very odd electrical input on the motherboard now I've never seen this before it looks like a 10 pin or maybe it's a 12 pin I, I can't really tell but it's just the non-standard electrical input on the motherboard so this is very proprietary and it's not very standard I just want to give you a closer look here at the electrical input on the motherboard and just just moving some of the cables out so so that you could get a better look here you can see that that, that is really non-standard so that is one of the more frustrating aspects of this Lenovo 700 series is that it's really not very expandable and you'll see here the SATA cables that there's there's a four SATA inputs two that are taken up by the DVD and by the hard drive itself so you have two free SATAs so that's one and you'll notice here that that's the other DVD-ROM and you'll see there that there is four memory slots and there, there's the extra SATA electrical 
or I, I don't know the exact term of, the, of that but I uh, just want to show you that there is only one free for an extra hard drive or an extra device so the only problem with this is that when I get the USB expansion card that needs electrical input so what I'm gonna have to do is use that lone SATA I hope it's called SATA I'm not sure but but it's a uh, the the lone electrical input now you see here there is a wireless Wi-Fi receiver here so this motherboard does have built-in Wi-Fi and you'll see also there is the PCI Express X1 three of them and PCI Express X16 which is good for a video card and just going around and showing you any extra plugs or anything so those are just the fan CPU fan cables and some of the cabling in that extra five and a quarter inch expansion slot above the DVD that's the fan for the i7-6700 CPU and again more of the expansion slots but that's really it that, that's really what I wanted to show and uh, please subscribe to my channel and I hope this helped in uh, whatever you're trying to do but I was just trying to give you basically a little bit more information about uh, you know whether you were wondering if this was a a system that is very expandable but uh, really it, it is not even if you're able to change out the power supply there is a non-standard motherboard connection there so but that's really it uh, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching